Okay, now for <coughs> February, March 2019, paper four, variant two, a question about Venn diagrams, set notation. Um, we have here two sets A and B, and we have some elements in these sets. Use set notation to complete these statements. So it says D and blank and then A. Well, D is an element of the set A. An element <coughs> has this symbol like a E kind of, funny kind of E. D is an element of set A. Okay. All right. That's um, how we can describe D. And F and G is basically the set which is the intersection between A and B. A intersection B. Okay, that's the set F and G. You could, you could describe it like that. You could also say, if you want, I guess, that the set FG, these two elements make a set, you could say that there are a subset, a true subset of set A, or you could say a subset of set B if you want, I guess, because they're part of set A and part of set B as well okay you could say that but this I guess is what they're intending and then it says complete the statement the number n when brackets with a blank inside equals six that means the count of a particular set is equal to six so you've got to think what is the set that has six items in it okay so we can see set a for example you got one two three four five set b you have one two three four five six one two three four five six so I guess you could write the number in set B is equal to 6. Okay. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so that means a count. How many, how many items in that particular set? Then you have to shade C intersection D complement. So when I, have, when I look at something like this, okay, the, word, the intersection means what's common to both these two parts. Okay, I like to think of it as the following. If you have... Uh, a union that's I think of that as smiley face and if you have an intersection I think that as a sad face right strict this guy is like strict he doesn't smile okay that's the intersection he doesn't smile so he's really strict so you have to be in both C and also you must be outside of D for you to be you know included all right, so whatever is included has to be in the set C. It cannot be outside of the set C anyway. But it must also be outside of the set D. Okay, so the place which is outside of the set D, but inside of the set C, is this, pl this place over here. This place, this area here, is inside C for sure. It's not outside C. And it's, it's not in D. Okay, I can't shade this area here. Okay, I can't shade this area here. Okay, it has to be outside of D but inside C. Okay, if it was C union D complement, then you'd shade C, okay, including this part, and then you'd shade everything outside of D as well. And the only thing that wouldn't be shaded would be this part. The union is like smiley face. If you're in one, you're included. So it said C, if it said C union D complement, you would include everything in C including this part here. And then you'd include everything outside of D. Or you just wouldn't shade this area twice, but it would be shaded. So the only thing that would be um, unshaded would be this crescent shape here. Everything else would be what is uh, you know, showing, shown by the shaded region. But this is not um, smiley face. Okay, this is strict face, intersection. So the intersection means you, know, you have to basically make sure that it's in both in both C and also outside of D. Okay. Now, part C, 50 students um, study at least one of the subjects, geography, maths, and history. 18 study only mathematics. 19 study two or three of these subjects. And 23 study geography. The Venn diagram uh, below is to be used to show this information. Um, show that x equals 4. So 18 study only mathematics. So there's 18 in this particular part here, right? And it says 19 study two or three of these subjects. So 19 study two or three. So there's 19, two or three means 
this x plus this x plus this x plus 7 has to be 19 and 23 study geography so the total that study the total in this whole circle is 23 all right so what we can do here is we know that um, 19 I know that x plus x plus x plus 7 must equal 19 because in these areas here there were 19 altogether okay so 3x plus 7 equals 19 <coughs> so 3x is equal to 19 minus 7 which is 12 so x is equal to 12 divided by 3 which is 4 so we've shown that x equals 4 okay and then it says complete the Venn diagram okay so if this is if these are fours okay if these are fours here yeah, that's a four that's a four and that's a four okay then what we can say is we know that the total in geography is 23 so I know here there must be 23 uh, altogether must be 23 so far so far you have so the part that's missing is 23 minus 7 plus 4 plus 4 okay 23 is a whole circle so that's minus 23 minus that's 15 23 minus 15 is 8 so I know there must be 8 here and we know that there's 50 students altogether okay and they they have they all study at least one of those subjects so there's nobody out in the area outside these three circles all of them study either geography or history or maths or both or all three or any two of them they study at least one of these subjects so there's no one that doesn't study any of them so we know that 50 there must be 50 altogether in these three circles so what do we have so far in these three circles we have um, 23 in this part here okay in geography 23 plus 18 plus 4 okay that's going to give you 7 plus 8 15 and that's 4 45 so there must be 5 that study just history and you can confirm that's 5 plus 12 hold on yeah 5 we know that in geography there is 23 we can confirm that 11 plus 4 15 23 27 27 plus 18 30 45 plus 550 okay so we have filled in the venn diagram use set notion set notation sorry to complete the statement g union m union h complement so remember g union h g union m union h <coughs> what it actually means let me just write it here <coughs> we got G union H union M complement all of that complement so remember this is smiley face it's everything in G and everything in M and everything in H okay uh, all of these numbers without repeating any of them smiley face remember all of G is included all of H is included all of, of M is included but this means complement means everything that's outside of these three circles and as we just discussed a few minutes ago we know that that's going to be zero because all of them have to study at least one of those subjects so there's 50 students okay but some of them there's none of them that, do, that are outside of the circle okay so this is going to become this is zero or you can say set notation you don't put zero it didn't say the number sorry it's not asking us for the number so it's not zero but it's you can write empty set which is like a an O with a line through it or if you want you can write an empty squiggly bracket okay now the next part for it's asking for the number in N it says the number I'll write it here so we can see the number G intersection and you got M union H in those brackets okay that's what they're asking <coughs> so let's go back on okay so what does this mean all right first of all M union H is these two circles all of them okay intersection with G means only the part that is in G of M union H so M union H would be all of these two circles okay intersection with G means only the part which is G for it so we're gonna basically I'll just highlight the area here we're gonna basically be looking for just this 
part. It's that part of M and H that we're looking for. The part of M and H that has a G in it. Okay, that's what they're looking for. And that means the number in that is equal to 7 plus 4 plus 4, which is going to be 15. So there's 15 in that region over there. <coughs> okay, so that's 15. And that completes our question. Okay, I think the next question is question number 10, yeah. Okay, so there we have it. That's the end of question number 9.